I never prepare or cook tomatoes or eat tomatoes with seeds because I just don't know. I don't like it. Basig makakuanta na. Magka-appendicitis. <laughs> Hey there, it's me Sai. Welcome back to my channel, mga people. This is another food episode. Yes, food. Pagkain, pagkaon. But this time, I'm not taking you to any restaurant, but I will be cooking in my kitchen. And yes, you've read it right. We will be cooking dried salted fish, or buwad in Bisaya, or tuyo in Tagalog. And another equally important ingredient is the tomato. Yes, these tomatoes are special because they were given by a subscriber. And now, we are closest of friends here in YouTube. So you may wonder who that subscriber and YouTube friend I am referring to. So keep on watching to know who that person is and then at the same time, enjoy my cooking session. Did you know that the source of spiciness of any chilies comes from this part here? This one that holds the seeds. Not the seeds, not this part here, but this one. That's the source of any chili spiciness. And also, chilies are best source of vitamin C. They're rich in vitamin C, so that's why ingesting chilies would also be beneficial as well. I really love garlic. Aside from improving or making our dishes savory, it is also beneficial for our hearts. I just love the taste, the aroma of garlic. So that's why I put a lot in most of the dishes that I prepare. I always deseed my tomatoes. I never prepare or cook tomatoes or eat tomatoes with seeds because I just don't know. I don't like it. Basig makakuanta na. Magka-appendicitis. You know, I just love to deseed. They're so fleshy and then it only contains little seeds. I really like it. I'm just cutting them into strips. Since I know once they lost their moisture content, of course, the tomatoes will shrink. So I have to cut them into bigger slices. See, there's less tomatoes. No, less <laughs> seeds. <laughs> so here's the final slices of the vegetables, the tomatoes, and the chilies, bell pepper, garlic, onion, and of course, ginger. Did you know that ginger is an anti-motion sickness spice? And our other special special yet special ingredient is the salted dried fish and this is a mackerel although this is not my favorite type of salted dried fish but this is the only one that's available from the three supermarkets that I explored last night but I have to pre-wash this I have to wash this first before cooking that's what our mom has taught us hello mommy mommy I know you'll be watching this video and 
I'm going to use extra virgin olive oil and some salt and some herbs to saute the veggies. So as I said, we're going to wash the salted dried fish to remove excess salts and also to somehow clean it, remove the possible dirt that has stuck on the fish. onion and the garlic sprinkle with some salt to reduce the browning time of the spices not just the browning time actually the browning of the spice Does it remind you of the colors of spring? So I set aside some of the sauteed veggies to make room for the salted dried fish. I can see the buwad ahead of it. The buwad is right there. Sandwiched between the veggies and the tomatoes until it's fried. My slightly burnt salted dried fish. Finally, I met Si Suensi. And she gave me this bag full of tomatoes. Thank you, Si Suensi. Wow, kadaghan ani. Uy, magwapa pagid ka ayu. Ah, excited na ko magluto ani. Thank you, Sis. Thank you. It was nice meeting you. And we'll meet again soon. Thank you, thank you, Si Suensi, again and again. I hope you have enjoyed this cooking session and wish to see you on my next Psy Cooks episodes. Till next time, bye!